The sponsor of today's video is Dr. Phone by Wondershare. Dr. Phone allows you to have all sorts of different system repair and recovery tools all in one app for the Mac and the iPhone. Check it out in the link below. What's up guys, Takapshir, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are feeling well. And as you can see, I'm now actually making this video just for one reason, for the iOS 11.3 Beta 2 that just came out today, just a couple of minutes ago. And the only reason why I'm making this video, guys, is simply because there is a new feature that I wanted to show you guys that it's completely new and I actually expected a couple of releases to go and it's finally here so this is good and yeah of course I said previously that I will not be making this kind of videos because uh, this kind of reviews are pointless and they I just waste your time but believe me this is something really really interesting and important so let's get started and okay so the first one is about the spotlight I'm not sure guys if this was present before in the first beta but as you can see when I awake the spotlight and then zap anywhere it just goes away immediately and this is so nice this was wasn't available at least on the iOS 11.2. Anyways, now let's move on to the next one. So it is in the settings, uh, then in the battery, and as you can see, we have this little uh, sub menu up here, the battery health beta, and this is so nice that we have it up here. Actually, it looks like a jailbreak tweak to me. Uh, now let's move on to uh, this little menu. As you can see, we have a maximum capacity uh, little indicator up here, a label, uh, so it's at 100%. This is so nice. So basically, this whole tab represents your battery life and the performance ratio to your battery life so for me when I have 100% as you can see that says up here your battery is currently supporting normal peak performance so that means my battery can actually push the CPU and the GPU power up to 100% and my device cannot actually you know throttle so this is so nice so before as you know this whole throttling situation it has been explained multiple times and finally Apple is taking some actions to it to you know remove it or reduce it or at least inform you that you have throttling and now your iPhone can not run at 100%. So this is so nice that they're actually informing us. So, I mean, this is a pretty nice touch and actually a pretty nice kind of feature. And again, it looks like a jailbreak tweak, which is so, so nice. And yeah, guys, I mean, that should be pretty much it. I'm so happy that Apple is finally doing something to explain, to actually, you know, show us why our device's performance like this and why our battery life isn't that good and stuff like that. So this is a really nice stuff. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this kind of angle of my video and the style, let me know in the comments below. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And as always, guys, I really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out.